This is another must-see Michigan. Everything behind me is repurposed metal into artwork or another function. I'm here with Len and he's gonna walk me through and tell me about his artwork and how he goes about making it. Good morning, this is Lenny's booth from uh, Lenny Crafted's. This is all repurposed materials. These saws are uh, cut into uh, wood scenes to uh, depict you know, the countryside and whatnot. And people have me uh, make saws like this out of their fathers as a memento. We've got uh, a turtle here made out of a rear differential cover, a motorcycle chain for its neck, um, a rocker for its head, a pro uh, propane tank used for the octopus, and uh, chain links and formed washers. We've got uh, some chain work right here. These are bottle holders. You take the bottle out and it falls over. And in the lower part right there, you see little ladybugs that are made from uh, uh, soup ladles. And uh, right in front of it, we got uh, little hammer dogs where I'll reconfigure the hammer head and attach it to a railroad spike and some wrenches. Then uh, you'll see a little box crab in there made with a little electrical box. It's a, a real popular one for people like to go on vacations. Then a uh, nice little uh, snail for in the garden made out of a, an old Chevy flywheel pulley. Here we are uh, some of our vehicles made out of uh, C clamps. Uh, the wheels are from a time machine out of a car, plumbing fittings. Miscellaneous different parts, wrenches used for the seats and washers for a steering wheel, a uh, semi that's made out of uh, old electrical boxes, washers, uh, the frame is made out of an old couch chair, couch frame spring, more of the dogs, repurposed silverware for keychains and peace symbols, rings made out of uh, spoons and forks, and uh, right here is a funny little story about these owls. They're made out of uh, postal diggers and garden rakes and saw blades and pliers. And when I made my first one, I put it up on the fence to take a picture of it and it stopped the squirrels from teasing my dogs. So they used to run up and down the fence and now they don't. So my dogs don't have to be teased and I get to keep some of my own art in my own yard.